Hi, my name is Lily. I'm from Blue Wave Soap, and today I'll be making a purple and yellow soap. So I've already gone ahead and mixed up my lye and my oils together, and I'm getting ready to mix up the colors, add my fragrance, and go ahead and mix all of that up together. I really, really like this purple color. I know here as I'm mixing it, it looks very blue, but it does end up looking purple the more I mix it and as it sets. And the yellow is a very pretty yellow as well. It looks very vibrant and once it gels it looks pretty good. And here on my screen it looks very orange as well. I really like the purple and orange together even though the the color is supposed to be yellow and it does end up looking yellow in the all right so I'm getting ready to pour my soaps together my soap batter colors in one pitcher then again I'm doing this off screen <laughs> And at this point, I realized that I didn't bring any kitchen towels in with me to the area where I make my soap. <laughs> so I decided to grab the end of the spatula instead to raise my, my mold up. And I can see that my batter is really, really runny and... Those colors together though, they look really pretty, I think. My husband also decided to try to make this soap. This is a clamshell attempt. My clamshell attempt number one. I tried it again. Um, we really wanted to, for some reason, not take notes on any videos that we might have watched or tutorials. We just wanted to dive right in and try it ourselves and see how that went. <laughs> so, the colors are really nice on here, but I think in the future my batter should be a, a little bit thicker and maybe I shouldn't put any, if I wanted to experiment in the future, just for future notes, I shouldn't put any fragrance in it because I know some can accelerate and that has happened to me quite a few times. And some, most it seems, that I've tried recently have made my batter a lot more runny which is kind of nice, but a little weird. <laughs> I've always expected them to just accelerate on me, especially florals, and the last few florals that I've worked with have made my batter a lot more runny, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. And if you've been with me for a few videos now, you know that I really, really like to experiment with new techniques. I like to make landscape soaps. That's my very favorite type of soap to make. But I do like to try to make new things, for example, like this clamshell and just see how it turns out. I don't really think as far as design goes, could ever go wrong even if you think it's ugly somebody else will think it's nice and then maybe if you let it sit for a little bit a week a few days a few hours your perspective will change and you'll say huh that is kind of cool which has happened to me many times before with things I make like dresses art and especially soap although I think for the most part, the soaps I've made, I've been pretty proud of, and I've 
liked. I know that sometimes my husband makes soap, which we haven't seen any of his videos yet, but stay tuned, they will be coming and they will be narrated by him. <laughs> um, he sometimes doesn't think his attempts are a success and there have been a few, like there's this one white, just fairly natural soap that looks pretty nice, I think. Am I alone in this? But when the soap batter runs down like that, it's like a little cascade, it's gently falling. It seems really relaxing to me. I really like watching it. I could almost watch that little section over and over and over again. And here I'm going uh, one and a half times the speed. On the video, I've sped it up a little bit just so that it's not too boring to watch because it is a little slow, but I think I'm going pretty fast anyway, <laughs> vigorously moving it side to side. And I think the top of the soap looks a lot better than the bottom of the soap, and that's because my batter set up a little bit more and was a little bit more firm as you can see it's not sliding as much and it's kind of keeping its shape a little bit I, I want it to be if I try this soap again kind of in between frosting and runny it should be this or maybe a little bit thicker just a little bit just so that the stuff holds its shape as you can see on the right side it's holding its shape fairly well and I'm just mesmerized by the three clamshells over on the right. The the purple and yellow just look really nice and striking to me and just them sitting on top of each other. They just look like a cake. Maybe I'm hungry or I need a snack, I don't know, but they just look delicious. Not that I want to eat it, but they just look so good. And I know this isn't exactly what the technique calls for, putting them all over on top, but I just kind of, like I said, wanted to experiment and see how the batter would react as I put it in different sections. Will it stay there so that I could get a feel for next time when I made the soap how thick my batter should be? I'm very much a try-it-myself type of person, it seems. <laughs> I must try it myself. I do see that there is a little bit of mixing inside my, my pitcher, but I think that's just because of how I'm tilting it, not how much I'm shaking it. And I decided not to do a, a swirly top for this one and just leave the top as it was. And the cut. I was not that excited to see what this was going to look like. I was a little disappointed that it just kind of melted together. The colors kind of melted together and got a little muddy, but I still really like the color combination together and it's still sort of swirly and you never know what you're going to get in the middle or you know, when you're using the soap and you know half of it is gone, you're still going to get a different a similar swirl but a little bit different so it's always going to be a little bit 
different than it was the day before, which I really, really like that aspect of, of soap. And in a lot of these, I can see different things, and I love that about soap and just art in general. Um, in these, I see faces a lot. Uh, the previous soap, it just looked like a little happy face, but it was upside down. And this one sort of looks like a happy face upside down as well. And there are a few here that I see that have faces as well. Let's see, is this one? I don't remember if that one is a face. I, I see one thing when it's one side, uh, the way we're seeing it here. And then if I flip it, I see a different. Uh, face and you can see there uh, the the batter and how much more firm it was when I turned it around you can see the the separation of where it was see right there it's a little division in the center um, of the different clam shells actually staying together Here we go. Oh, I'm so sad because I haven't found my forever home. <laughs> and this guy too, he's so sad. He needs a forever home. <laughs> and upside down, if you saw my post on Instagram, um, having a staring contest. And that's the final result. Thanks for watching.